Gemini! Do, 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 do. Welcome to your general reading, 20, to, 20 March or 20 April with me, Edwin Nelson, your psychic tarot reader, focusing on money and career. Please note this is a general reading, so please take it as it resonates. If you do come across something that resonates with your beautiful Gemini, then claim that for yourself by placing your hand on your heart, taking a nice deep breath, and saying yes to it. Okay, let's get into this. Gemini, dealing with Gemini, wherever you've got Gemini in your chart, let's have a look. It's always a good idea to maybe look at your Jupiter placement, you know, so if, 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 if that's where you're like, that's where you want to be going. Okay, let's get into it. Let's not speak too much. Let's get it. Oh, wow. Okay, so, so, so your reading is starting, starting off Gemini. I'm looking at the energies that are coming in here before we clarify an end of the Oracle card. So the first thing that is coming out over here for you is emotions. You know, um, don't be closed off to the idea of emotions. Don't be closed off to a new person, a new energy. And you may say, Adrian, what the hell does that have to do with money and career? And here's the thing, we are energy beings. When you cut yourself off to one thing, you say like, you know what? I'm completely closed off to love. Can't do that right now. Not going to go down that trip then you are actually cutting yourself off to a part of your own energy, which is your own abundance. And so when you do that, you kind of cut yourself off to everything else, you know? It's like, it's sort of like, 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 sort of like denting a water pipe a little bit. You know, it, it affects all the water, not just some of the water. You know what I'm saying? So, and open your heart to the idea, Gemini, that things can really work out for you. It seems like somebody who's really got your best interest at heart, this might be making a wonderful offer here to you. You don't have to be suspicious about it. That's what I'm getting, all right? Um, okay, very interesting. So, I do see that some of you might be dealing with maybe an emotional issue over here, um, maybe a little bit of issue of trust. You don't want to let in the magic, beautiful Gemini. Um, so... It, it, you know, it, it, it could just be that maybe you reconnected with someone from the past, you know, just recently. And maybe that is sort of like throwing a little bit all over the place. You're not sure where you stand with that person. Um, and maybe that has got your mind going in all different directions. And, you know, should I do this and should I do that? And da 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 You know? Um, talk to them. Really, that, that, you know, that, that's what's coming up for you, my beautiful Jamies. Um, if you need to talk to someone, talk to them, you know? Say to them what it's like or what it's not, or at least speak to yourself. Maybe look in the mirror and imagine having this conversation with them. But I do see that emotions might be messing things up here for you a little bit. You know, it's like that monkey wrench in the toolbox type of vibe. All right. So looking at the energies that are currently impacting you, actually, they came out like this. Um, or like the potential, basically, because that's all about what you bring into the table. So the potential here for you at money and career. So first of all, we've got the death card over here for you, my beautiful, beautiful gem babies. And, you know, the death card is a Scorpio energy. It's about um, taboos. It's about regeneration. It's about letting go of the things that are holding you back. It's like it's, it's basically out of the dark and into the light. All right. Uh, if any of you are actually interested in learning to read cards, you can check down below in the description. There's some links for my courses. There's a free Oracle card course. There's a spiritual development course. Do have a look at it. Ten of Swords. So this is something very big that you want to really remind yourself of. And maybe you need to, you know, sort of like reflect back on your timeline, your life a little bit over here, Gemini. And you are being reminded that you have gone through difficult things in this lifetime. But none of those things have killed you. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, if you kind of feel like, oh my goodness, I don't even know if I will ever be able to move forward in life. So, so here's the thing. Maybe things are going really, really well. Um, and because I don't really pick up necessarily that they're really horrible and bad. But they're not exactly where you'd like them to be either. All right. And if that is the case for you that's happening at the moment, it does seem like some of that past fear is holding you back. So it might be time to do some introspection of you know what are some of the things that you of the past that you're holding on to because there is definitely a space here of moving into a next level of success that i can definitely tell you for an absolute absolute fact my beautiful gemis um let's see what else we have here for your current space for your current potential king of stars so emotions are definitely stepping forward here and you are definitely ready to laugh. You might not necessarily be, you know, in a space where it doesn't have to be, for those of you that are dealing with someone from the past, it doesn't have to be that it's that person. But if you say, well, I may be ready to love that person again or ready to love again or whatever it may be, embrace that. 
because as you do, you raise your vibration. And when your vibration is all nice and high flying like a plane or magic, you know, um, extraterrestrial flying saucer, then it's when the magic comes to you, you know? Because good attracts good, all right? So don't be afraid to feel, okay? Don't be afraid to feel. Um, let's see what is the potential outcome for this connection, please. For my beautiful German noise. How you're doing, how you're doing, how you're doing. Uh, oh yes, um, some of you, um, for the last year basically, I've you know, gotten emails and requests and everything um, about my quantum life activations regression hypnosis sessions. And I haven't been doing them for a year, but I started again. So if any of you are interested, you can send me an email. My email ad address is down below in the description. Or I'll turn it, you know, and sorry. So what I can also do is I can maybe send you like some preparation, you know, for what it's all about. And this preparation is great. Even if you're going to go with someone else, I don't mind sharing at all. Okay. Interesting enough, I mean, Aquarius, not so much, but I've done the Libra reading and the, uh, and, the and the, you know, for you now. And it seems like love is very much on the table here. Um, it's, it's, it's coming in here. So, you know, don't be close off to that. Don't be close off to the emotions. Don't be close off to hope. And it may not work out for a particular person, but it still raises your vibration, which is fantastic. Look at what's at the bottom of the deck. I just happened to see it. I'm gonna draw some new cards for you. Ace of Pentacles, breakthrough. Financial breakthrough, all right? There's breakthroughs here that are loading for your Gemini. If you like that, say to the universe, yes, 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 yes. I am on board with that. I'm on board with magic. I'm on board with amazing things happening for me. Queen of Cups, yep, love. Getting into connection with you like them, they like you, and so it's not just a case of you are encouraged to open your heart, someone else is opening their heart as well. So I know that for the last couple of weeks I've been doing readings for you with love, and it was very much about letting go, and it seems like many of you needed to release to almost give that connection space to breathe. So I'm not giving this as a definite, but it does seem like a space of working together, you and a person working together, um, so kind of like putting your ex in the same basket. Maybe you needed to learn some lessons. Maybe they needed to do some lessons. But I do see this sort of like um, basket with this golden egg. So it seems beautiful, beautiful potential. Yeah, working with someone else, someone you care about, someone you love. It doesn't just have to be a romantic connection though. It could be with family. It could be with friends. But whatever it is, it's going to the next level. Okay. Let's clarify what you bring into the table. So um, we've got the six of swords the ace of pentacles there's that breakthrough again ace of wands so yeah amazing stuff same message basically very much being confirmed here repeatedly beautiful 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 gemini um it is it's it's really about it's, it's about teamwork it's about working together it's about a sense of fulfillment um there's definitely a breakthrough it could be an inheritance it could be a payout whatever it is it's beautiful and there's also there's also love loading i can also see that you've got a higher opinion of yourself than you may have had before doesn't mean that you didn't like yourself before but maybe you had to you know instead of surviving you know and, and thriving maybe you know or instead of surviving you've been very much surviving and i see that really going to the next level where someone you know, almost like it's beautiful teamwork. So when you are a little bit, you know, down and out and whatever, you've got somebody who carries you, they're there for you and vice versa. So it's a beautiful, beautiful teamwork type of vibe that leads, beautiful teamwork leading to great success. Okay. Um, so that's, that's what's definitely coming up very strongly here for your beautiful gem babies. Beautiful teamwork leading to great successes. Let's see what is on the table here for you. What is the potential coming through? So you've got the Ten of Pentacles, which is really, really great. This is you coming into your own, coming into your moment, coming into your shine. Um, Nine of Pentacles, definitely coming into your shine here. Definitely, definitely, definitely coming into your shine. And also the Hermit energy, Virgo energy. Um, and the Hermit energy, it's all about work. It's all about routine. You know, it's all about sort of like doing it better, but it's also um it's it's also an energy that is encouraging you to take a little bit of a break a little bit of a body break that says you know what you don't have to work that hard you you can sort of like feel yourself into something new so really think about what it is that you want to have contemplated let the law of attraction work for you manifest for you instead of you working so hard okay let's clarify the outcome here i really like this outcome so far but let's clarify the outcome beautiful gemini's 
I really like this reading for you. I've got to tell you, I love, 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 love this reading for you. My beautiful gem papers. Okay, so. The sun, highest potential in the tarot deck that came out here for you. Um, you have the six of pentacles that came out for you, as well as the five of swords. So, it seems to me like you were fighting a little bit, but someone here... This could be a, a, a outright fight, a silent fight. Maybe you just recently found out that you were maybe like fighting with someone. But there was peace that was made here. Things are not handled the same way they were before. You're not being seen the way, the same way that you've been before. You've got a, done a lot of healing within yourself. And all of that is leading to absolutely amazing, great successes. Okay? Amazing, great successes. Claim that shit for yourself, man. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Let's see if we've got an oracle energy. If all of this resonates with you, I'd really appreciate you liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. Share with a friend who might benefit from this reading. Let's see what is the final message here for you. View from above. Get the big picture. Things are going to this next level for you. You are seeing more options. You are seeing more opportunities. More opportunities are being presented to you, my beautiful, beautiful gem. So... All around, you know, this is like a second helping of dessert. It's very nice, it's very sweet, it's very beautiful. And it's it's all around ooh la la. You know, it's, it's literally it's all around ooh la la for you. Okay. So that's what I got. Hope that it helps. See you next time. Ciao, ciao, ciao.